This video is to go with Maths Quiz Module 1, Section 7b and 7c, which are optional extension activities for children who get this far. So, we're looking at broadcasts, and broadcast is one of those things that can actually be quite difficult to explain to children. So, um, there's a really nice example of um, a physical activity that you can do that's mentioned in the book, and I would really recommend you to do that, but we're just going to go over it so that you understand it really well as well. So a broadcast is a method where one sprite or the stage triggers an action in another sprite or the stage. Okay. Um, and so let's see if we can understand. And in fact, it's worth saying it's the code inside the sprite or the code inside the stage that triggers the action. So say we've got the cat here that's one of our sprites, one of our little pictures, and it wants to trigger something in this crab over here. So it uses a broadcast, and a broadcast actually sends that message out to every other part of, of the Scratch programming world, and if there is a piece of programming inside these other things, the stage or the, the crab, or even somewhere else inside the same um, sprite itself, um, such as this, when I receive spin, uh, okay, it will actually act on that. It will actually trigger that off. Um, it is, of course, possible um, for us to be broadcasting, and the dog is, of course, picking up this same broadcast spin. And, of course, if there's nothing, if it has no when I receive spin inside the dog sprite, then nothing will happen. But it might be that actually the dog is doing the same thing, and it's triggering uh, multiple actions at the same time. Um, it is also perfectly possible for spin to be triggering more than one type of thing okay, inside different sprites or inside itself. So it can be a trigger for lots and lots of um, actions. Um, and of course, because it can be used more than once, it adds to the efficiency. It's worth knowing that actually broadcasts are quite a peculiar scratch solution to a problem. Uh, and a lot of that is to do with um, making things easier for children um, to understand. Um, so, so actually, you know, it's not something like selection or repetition on variables that is going to be incredibly useful as the children move up. <laughs> it's a very peculiar sort of scratch-esque thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>